Welcome to Syracuse University Veteran Career Services series on gathering your tools. Today we have an alum who some of you probably know, and if not, you're going to get to know her. It's Chloe Milliken, who is a, a U.S. Army veteran and an alum from Syracuse University's College of Law. Welcome, Chloe. Thank you. Chloe, thanks again. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, thanks, Jen. Um, well, I am an alum of Syracuse University. I got my undergrad here after four years in the Army. Um, it was a pretty incredible experience. I studied political science, um, but I also worked in the Career Service Center uh, with other veterans. And through that, um, through networking, which we're going to talk about today, I was able to get the support I needed to get um, an internship with the FBI. And that led into my career uh, that I'm at today. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit mo more about the, the SU experience that you had, certainly as it relates to, to networking and, you know, where you're at right now. When I was at Syracuse University, it started with just kind of reaching out to other veterans. Um, I was just out of the military about two days when I started my undergrad work. So um, I was incredible. a little bit of treading the deep ends there, <laughs> but um, I just started talking to people. I started asking them what SU had to offer, what I could get involved in, um, what other veterans were doing, what kind of programs they were involved in. And that led to some really incredible experiences. I got, um, we got to travel to uh, NACON, which is an opportunity that Career Services provides and um, got a network there with other um, veterans across the country. And Throughout all of this, um, kind of just talking to people and getting to know what they're um, what they're involved in, it led to um, opportunities for um, career development. Um, in there was a, a couple courses that I found out about that I never would have applied for or um, sought out had I not talked to other people. Um, for example, there was a course that you can take where you're actually working um, and getting experience in. Um, a political science field. So you can work with a senator or a congressman um, during that semester and you get paid to do the work and you also get um, school credit. So the, wow. it's like little things like that, that um, just by talking to people and kind of asking about their experiences and really putting yourself out there with the community, um, you'll gain some of those little insights. Um, and I know another really great opportunity that we had um, with Syracuse and specifically the career um, development, which was kind of my focus um, while I was at school, um, was the opportunity to talk with people that were in fields that I was interested in. So Jen Pluto at the time would invite um, employers in and we had the um, really incredible opportunity to talk with them over drinks in a more relaxed environment. Um, in, a, in a networking environment where they could tell you um, really the truth about what, what it was going to be like when you got into that field, um, what the day in life was like. And it wasn't um, the polished website, you know, it was the, the honest truth. Like, you know, yes, every day is going to um, be a little bit different or um, right. this is kind of how you can progress. What was that motivation? I mean, you kind of hit on it when you were you know, I was a new student. I was two days out from, you know, refretting from active duty. And tell, tell us what, what motivated you to kind of put yourself out there uh, and, you know, to, to talk to other people? Um, well, I think part of that's being an extrovert. <laughs> I really <laughs> like people. But um, another part of it is just that um, I think I think veterans, when they first get out of the military, they have this tendency to like not want to be around the military anymore. So they want to find other avenues or other ways to um, kind of find a community. But the thing that I found that was really incredible is that um, because we all felt like we were done being in the military, they were actually the perfect people to talk to because they were all kind of seeking that next chapter. And um, I was really, I was really looking for just um, kind of guidance and support. Um, how, do you, how do you go from a career that's very structured, um, that kind of gives you um, all the steps to um, kind of endless possibilities and where are you gonna fit in that, um, in this new kind of, uh, this new niche. And so by communicating with people and just kind of by asking like, you know, hey, what's your experiences? What have you found? Um, that just kind of showed me, um, or just kind of help me discover, you know, what am I, what, where's my best fit going to be and how do I get there? What was the best networking experience for you while you were here at SU? Oh, um, <laughs> Which one stands out? 
Yeah. Well, honestly, I really enjoyed um, the SVO. Um, there's the student veteran organization. You got to meet kind of veterans from all walks of life. Each event kind of brought in like a new group of people. So I got to meet people that were in pre-med, that were in pre-law, that were um, in law school, that were doing um, biologists, that were studying um, the criminal section and forensics. Mm. So um, just kind of getting, um, I don't think in other student organizations, they're kind of like tailored to a certain set, like, hey, we're all political science majors, so we're studying this sector. Um, right. So when you when you kind of get into the, um, the student veteran organization, you kind of get to see people from across the campus and all these really incredible things going on. I think that, you know, that's probably a really good first step for student veterans who might be uneasy about networking or not too sure where to begin. They can certainly start easily enough with networking with, you know, fellow student veterans, because like to your, to your point, uh, Chloe, you, you do sort of have that connection, right? It's that shared identity. How do you maintain your network now that you've had this, you know, all these connections? All it really takes is just kind of keeping yourself in that peripheral, like taking, you know, taking the opportunity to send like a thoughtful email, um, check in uh, and, you know, set those little reminders in your outlook if you're not, you know, because that, that time will pass by and you'll kind of forget about it. But if you set those little reminders for yourself, it really does pay off in the long run. I think networking in and of itself is is vital. And I think when you hear that word, um, like Jen said before, it's it's intimidating because you're like, okay, great. I know I have to meet people, but how do you do that? Like, I'm, they're not showing up at my dorm. I don't see them at the coffee place I go to. Like, um, how do you get from, um, what, from A to B, basically? And, and I think doing some self-reflection, figuring out when you get to this campus or where you're at, what, what, do, what is your immediate goal? What's your, um, where do you want to be in the next um, six months, the next year? And once you can identify that, once you can tell yourself, okay, this is where I want to be in this year, then go find people that have done it. Go, go research, go find people that are at where your dream is or who are, are just ahead of you in the process. Um, if it's, if you're a freshman, for instance, and your goal right now is just to get into a certain school that you, um, within the campus, or if you wanna get a certain job, go find kids that have already interned. Go find, um, go to Jen and ask her like, hey, um, who are our connections in this, in, this, um, in this field or in this company? And set up those informational interviews. If you buy someone a coffee and ask them about themselves, they will go on for hours. And the bonus is you are learning such vital information and they, and they wanna talk about themselves, everyone does. It's a, um, it's a human trait, but you, you're gaining so much from that because they can tell you like, hey, this is what worked for me. This is how I structured my resume. This is the trick to these interviews. It's kind of this incredible opportunity you have to be back on campus and, um, and to have all these resources at your fingertips. There's so much out there for you. And Syracuse um, University is just um, such an incredible advocate. So really anything that you can think of or dream of that you want to accomplish that can happen here. Um, it, it really is just a matter of reaching out and talking to people. Definitely appreciate you taking the time and certainly sharing, you know, your experiences and your expertise, you know, with our student veterans. You know, thanks again, Chloe, and um, stay tuned for more Gathering Your Tools videos. This is Jennifer Puda from Syracuse University Veteran Career Services.